Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 and in today's video we're going to share something something exciting. Well, we are talking about installing MIUI 12.5.6 Enhanced Edition on this device and we are going to have a quick first look. Now we do have two options in this particular video, we can use the Chinese ROM or we can use Xiaomi.eu but for you know the betterment of generally a lot of people we will be installing xiaomi.eu because it has all the enhanced features which come from china rom but it has most of the things in english but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find the link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so first things first, let me show you what exactly is going on. So on Telegram, if you actually go to MIUI update, right, you will see here Redmi K40 China Stable 12.5.6 Enhanced, okay? Now pay attention to the version over here, RKHCNXM, all right? Now we go to F3 updates or K40 updates or whatever you want to call it, and the latest here is xiaomi.eu and the version is exactly the same let me show you the two files over here because we will be installing this right now so as you can see over here okay rkhcnxm okay and let's see over here exactly the same so, you know, we can go ahead and install the Chinese variant of this particular ROM, but it's not going to make a lot of difference. So Xiaomi.eu to the rescue, most of the things in English. So let's go ahead and install and then have a quick look and maybe I'll do a complete review or a gaming live stream later. So things to take care of is you need an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a TWRP recovery installed. The recovery is linked in the description. Both of these files are linked in the description. If you want to install the Chinese version as well, the process is going to be exactly the same. Make sure you have more than 50% battery and make sure you've backed up everything on your phone's internal storage because things will be wiped and everything on your inter internal storage will be cleaned up. Now, once you've done all of that, you can actually go ahead and copy the file to the phone's internal memory. Make sure you've removed the lock screen password, the Google account, your MI account, your face unlock, fingerprint unlock, all the security related features, make sure you have completely removed them from your Poco F3 or Mi 11X. If you are on a Redmi K40 and on a locked bootloader, anyways, you should get this uh, stable update if you're in China. So this is for people who are in India and in the global markets where this particular update has still not reached, hence Xiaomi.eu to the rescue. So once we've prepped everything, the files are copied to the phone's internal memory, press and hold the power button and over here, Let's go to power, restart and recovery. Now make sure you use the recovery that is linked in the description because that particular recovery seems to have been working fine for me across a lot of custom ROMs. This is the recovery 3.5.2 Nebrasi and if you are encrypted or you don't remove the lock screen password, this is what will happen. That is the reason I requested you to go ahead and remove the lock screen password. This is the recovery you should be using, right? So you can go to install, okay? And we are going to use the EU version. So flash this. No need to wipe or do anything. Whatever ROM you are on, just go ahead and directly flash it. Let's wait for the flash to complete. Now remember, this is a MIUI update. So it will be two to five gigabytes, anywhere between two to five gigabytes, and it will take some time for it to be flashed. So let's patiently wait for the flash to complete. All right, now, as you can see, the recovery says that everything has been flashed perfectly fine. So go to the main screen, go to wipe, go to format data, type in yes, and select the tick mark. This is a very important step without which you will be in a boot loop. All right, once format data is done, go to reboot and select system. Now remember at this point, if you wish to keep TWRP, you can copy the image into the phone's internal memory and 
install the recovery RAM disk and when you boot next time you will have TWRP available. All right, now as you can notice, we have just finished booting up. It did take a good three to four minutes. So please be patient when that happens. And if you've not signed out of your MI account, this is what you will get. So you will have to enter your password and sign out of the MI account. All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen. So let's go to settings over here and let's go to my device real quick. Okay, let's go to the MIUI version. Currently installed 12.5, version 12.5.6. What is new? Do we get anything? General optimization fixes and latest translation updates. But if you talk about the changelog of the enhanced version, I don't have the screenshot here, but I'll read it out to you. It does say swift performance, more life between the changes, focused algorithms. Our new algorithms will dynamically allocate system resources based on specific scenes, ensuring smooth experience on all models. Atomized memory, ultra fine man memory management mechanism will make RAM usage more efficient. Liquid storage, sensitive storage mechanism will keep your system vibrant and responsive. So do we have any major changes over here? So let's first go to all specifications. And Android version is 11, July security patch. We still don't have the August security patch. If you go to additional settings. Okay, additional settings. You do have the clear speaker option. You do have screen time over here. Go to special features. You have MIUI lab, AI preloading. You can go ahead and enable that. So let's see if we have the RAM extension feature over here yet or not. Okay, RAM extension. Nope. Well, I can't see the RAM extension feature over here, but it is definitely smooth and although we are still running on 60 Hertz. So let's quickly go to 120 hertz and things would be much much smoother over here the animations are very very smooth i can tell you that and although you know even though this is the enhanced enhanced version and everything else you have to give it some time to settle down so i will eventually you know i'll probably use this for today and i will maybe make another video about you know how good or how bad i mean it can't be bad because they are saying it is an enhanced edition so more or less things should be working in our favor and miui should finally be usable if i if you may so this is the quick way to install and these are the you know quick first look at miui 12.5.6 for the b11x k40 and the poco f3 the links are mentioned in the description let me know in the comment section are you going to install or not until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye